Hey Cancer, welcome to the Trap House. It's your girl Brady here with your October 2019 monthly reading. I have saged our energy so that we can have a nice and clear reading. So the kids are home from school today. If you hear any background noise, as that you bear with me. I also ask that you listen to the music in the background as I believe spirit channels messages through the music. I do not own the copyrights to any of the music that you hear playing in the background. When I do my readings, I like to talk to God, the spirit guides, the ancestors, the relatives who loved us, who passed before us, the angels, the universe, and the creator of all things. I always ask for clear, positive, kind, but above all, honest messages. I'm gonna ask that you bear with me. Like I said, I have my kids home and they're making breakfast. And I also know that I delayed you guys reading for a couple of days. I had a lot of stuff going on. So for that, I am gonna pull from my hip hop tarot as a bonus. It's a cute little deck. And I'm also going to give you guys the chance to win. Okay, so for the Zodiac sign that has the most viewers, I will do your reading first for the month of November. And also, if you subscribe and comment below, I'm going to enter your name for a chance to win a free deck of... Let me show you the tarot deck. So, I'm going to um, enter your name for you to win this tarot deck. And this is what they look like. I'll just give you a glance at some of the cards. And even take note to what I'm showing you right now because this could come up in your reading. Okay? So, if you're interested, please like the post, subscribe to my channel, and also comment below. And I will enter your name so that you can win a free deck of tarot cards. If you are interested in booking a private reading, I ask that you find me on Instagram at Trap House Tarot. Follow me there and send a DM and we can work out your reading. Actually, today, if you listen to this today, I am offering a special where readings are going for $10. They are unlimited and it'll be very similar to the setup that we have here where it is a general reading. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, spirit, what is the power of love oracle message for cancer for the month of October? action 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 we want action you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul so you've been harboring a lot now it's time to unleash take action and move forward on your life path less talking more action patience you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm you are not forcing what won't fit spontaneity you're breaking out of your shell you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations you're not being afraid to take that leap of faith and you are being present in the moment you're going what's factual right now for you you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances you being present in the moment is absolutely important. You want to make sure that you are not so busy planning for the future that you forget to be happy right now. Okay. So we will move forward. And I am using Alice Smith's Ghetto Tarot. I love this for the Trap House Tarot. It fits perfectly. I am here to empower those who spend time in trap houses who are in the ghetto where I'm born and raised from. Um, I want them to know that there is a brighter future. If you tap into your spiritual and your mental and your business and combine those, you can create limitless possibilities for yourself. All right, Cancer, let's see what Spirit wants you to know for the month of October. We got a bunch of cards jumping. All right, let's see, Spirit. Please give me Cancer's messages for the month of October 2019. I do not read the cards in reverse, and I do not take them if more than one card jumps at a time. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. You have the two of swords. Okay. You have the five of cups. 
and you have the Seven of Cups. Okay. And you have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. And I'm not surprised as the song Matrimony by Wale just went off. And the Hierophant is indication of commitment, having a mentor, having a... A traditional marriage you could also be dealing with the Taurus or an earth sign um, this is someone who is ready to commit someone who is like he looks like the put he's a priest he's he's ready and these two people are coming before him so this is a sacred union okay thank you I hope some of y'all woke up in a new Bugatti shoot come give me a rat <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. And what messages do you have for Cancer? All right, you got your Queen of Cups energy flipped over. You're tenderhearted, empathetic, patient, loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition and care for yourself and others. And that is your action in love. Okay, let me get these cards pulled. And I do not own the copyrights to any of the music that you hear on my channel. Three of Wands. That's you walking into your abundance. Ace of Cups. This is nice. Nice, nice, nice energy. And you have the King of Cups. You have the King and the Queen of Cups. So like I said before, there's definitely some marital matrimonial energy here. Um, some unions, some relationships going to the height of their um time so it says open your heart and mind to those around you trustworthy heartfelt advice and charity work you being charitable allows your gifts and donations to come back to you tenfold okay okay you have the daughter of cups coming out that is still your cancer scorpio pisces energy you have a lot of water sign you could be dealing with another um water sign you have the lovers here this is the gemini and this is two becoming one and that is you to me that's you connecting with your intuition when it comes to your career okay and then you have the king of swords that's beautiful and then bottom of the sign you have the king of fire this is aries leo sagittarius energy this could be very influential in all of your decision making this is a person who could be influencing you this is encouraging you to focus on the task at hand do not lose focus you know what you go you know what your goals are and you know why you are seeking them so this focus and this action action we want action that energy goes completely together with that king of with this father of wands and then you have the king of pentacles here as well so you have a lot of kings in your reading and this is also taurus virgo capricorn energy this is stability this is financial stability this is being grounded this is being realistic about your goals this is being present and you have a tower there may have been a tower moment something could have come crumbling down but when when that tree is out of the way you are able to see the rest of the forest okay so i'll go through your reading and you have the two of swords when it comes to your relationship you could be in love with someone who is trying to decide which way to turn when it comes to you. Um, or you yourself could be facing a decision about the relationship. And that decision could have to do with the relationship developing to a new level. So um, you could be trying to decide if you want to propose to this person or if you want to accept a proposal if it was given to you. Um, this is saying relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition and care for yourself and others. So um, with these two cards combined in love, you could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, or you could be embracing that energy as well. You could be in your thoughts a lot, overthinking, um, just being really indecisive and not wanting to make a decision too soon. The Queen of Cups is encouraging you to make a decision and allow the relationship to develop to a new level. And it's so funny because these two wings are spread and it looks very similar to the two swords being spread. You are this beautiful angel and all you have to do is flap your wings to reach a new height into your relationship and i'm going to read the daughter of cups to you directly from the book the page of cups energy is an offer of love like i said the tower moment that you just had was 
you know, cutting down trees so that you can see clearly through the rest of the forest. Um, this is creative and emotional energy. Creative energy abounds from the Daughter of Cups. She's romantic, artistic, and easily inspired by her surroundings. A true dreamer by nature, she struggles to stay grounded or to deal with any harsh realities that come her way. Conflict of any kind is very disturbing to this gentle creature. So this is your Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy and your ability to be creative and emotional is your strength in, in love. So as long as you keep doing what you're doing and avoiding conflict and making sure that you learn to balance things out as needed, you know, you can become lost in your thoughts, lost in your um, actions sometimes as well, too. You get so caught up in working on things around you that you forget to work on yourself. Okay, so the strength here is you realizing this energy and um, taking a moment or two to be creative enough to balance yourself out, if that makes sense. Be creative enough to find time for yourself. So get everything that you need to get accomplished, but find time for yourself as well. All right, and in your work section, it looks like you may be crying over some spilt milk. You may have some decisions to make. Um, it looks like three cups are knocked over, but if you turn around, there are still two very useful cups here. And once you figure that out, you can carry on to your next task. And I'm going to read that one to you from the book as well, because that is your Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. The Five of Cups is sobering. So you may need to sober up if you've been drinking a lot. Sobering realization and healing. What you have lost is only a tiny part of what you have left. And what you have now will grow to fill that space. There is always a reason for disturbance. Don't worry about what cannot be changed and turn a setback into a step forward. The setback is never comparable to the comeback. You got this, okay? And when I tell you you got this, the cards say you got this. The three of fire says here, abundance, things looking very good. Have patience at this time. Have what? Have what? Have what? I love it when spirit does this. Have patience at this time. Making long-term plans. This is the action that you need to take in your career. Abundance, things are looking very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans. Those are your actions, Cancer. What are you going to do? Comment below and let me know what kind of actions you're taking. Enter for a chance for that free giveaway for the tarot card deck as well. And this is the Major Arcana, The Lovers. And I'm also going to read that one to you from the deck because it's such a beautiful card and a beautiful energy. And I believe that this is someone who might be moving forward with you in your career that you love. This could be a loved one. This could be a business partner. This could be a boyfriend or a spouse who is helping you grow your business that is very beautiful energy one moment okay union and again we have the higher fit here so you could be marrying someone that you work with two canadian geese are mates for life oh ew. Traveling partners with an expansive sky. The lover's card is a welcome sight in any reading, as it suggests a beautiful and strong relationship on the horizon. Yes, you'll experience all the thrills and desires of romance, but meanwhile, you'll be building a solid foundation together. The lovers honor and respect each other, and with that, they can go anywhere. If you are already in a relationship, it is time to be grateful and nourish this rare and precious gem. This is beautiful energy. This is twin flame soulmate energy. This is your mate for life. You could also, if you are single, be coming into the development of your spirit and developing yourself. Loving yourself to the point where you feel like you can take on any action and tackle any obstacle. With the Seven of Cups here, this is more Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And this is someone who has a lot going on. And this is in your family. This could be your mother, father, brother, your kids, your family. But this is someone who has a lot going on. You see some death here. You see some abundance here. Um, what else do you see here? Um, challenges. You know, some things look scary. Some things look promising. But either way, these options and these cups are representing a lot of confusion and a lot of of things, a lot of options going on in your life, okay? 
So I think that that energy is coming to a close here. And I am going to read it to you again whenever it's your energy like that. I just love to let you know exactly what it means. With the Seven of Cups, it's illusion. Realization of false promises. So someone may have been like, oh, I got you. We're going to be good. But no, nah, we ain't. And this could be a family member. Realization of false promises, choices, making dreams come true. Stop dreaming of a better life and make it happen. Stop dreaming of a better life and make it happen. No one is going to come looking for you, you to make you rich. You have to at least meet them halfway. And sheesh, I feel like that was for me. So I'm going to take it because it's the truth. You may get to a point where you feel like, oh, I got this. This is easy. Never take it for granted. Never create false illusions for yourself to tell you that this is your finish line. You're never at the finish line. You constantly have to work. And I see you are. With this Ace of Cups in your action, Woo, forget my hair. Don't tell nobody. Okay. Um, the Ace of Cups here shows me that you are narrowing down all of these options and obstacles to what belongs to you and you alone. This is a single cup. This is an Ace of Cups. It's a very big cup, but you're only fitting inside of it what you can bear. Nothing more, nothing less. It's love abound. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship spiritual growth and enhanced intuition a new home so this is beautiful energy for you at this time congratulations if you have purchased a new home or moved into a new home or if you are seeking that and if not maybe you should be with this in your action area congratulations again and you have the king of swords you are honestly coming into a point of clarity where you can better understand some of the things that happened in your life and why Okay, I'm going to read that to you from the book as well because I just love the fact that it is clarifying you coming into your abundance. And this is your strength here as well. The father of swords is fair and analytical. Like all of the swords family, the father has a gift for perception. He has a distinct ability to remove himself emotionally from a situation so that he can truly see it from all angles. He is therefore respected by others who usually describe him as fair or just. He's a responsible man with deep ties to his family. So this is almost even you representing yourself being the matriarch of your family or being the one, I want to say, like the most high in your family. Where, you know, now people are coming to you seeking your clarity, seeking your advice, seeking your help because you have mastered the ability to control your emotions and stand tall and follow through on all of your promises to yourself and others. And this is beautiful energy to have when it relates to family. Again, your family can be your mother, father, brother, your spouse, your dog. It can be anybody. All right, so I'm going to go through your reading once more. You have a decision to make when it comes to love. Are you ready to fall in love? The cards say you should be. And this page of Cups Energy is inspiring you to stay creative and positive about all of your endeavors. You have this. You got this. This five of cups, so even though those three cups are spilled over, you are not going to cry over spilled milk because you have no reason to. Your abundance is here. Make long-term plans. Things are looking very good and have patience at this time because you are coming into a oneness. Someone is here to help you, whether it be a spirit guide or your intuition or a guardian angel or an actual person in your life who is willing to help you fly, who's willing to learn with you. And once you learn, they are willing to soar and sail and see and travel and be there for you and make sure that you get to your abundance and keep it. That's beautiful energy. With all the confusion in your family life here, it's best if you narrow it all down, put what you can fit in your cup and shut out the rest of that shit. It's not yours. You don't deserve it. Be honest with yourself and with others about the new clarity that you have in your life. Use it. Be charitable. Help who you can and cut the rest. That's why he's holding a sword because he's not going to allow anything to come into his space that isn't necessary or wanted anymore okay so what i'm going to first do is pull a major arcana here to clarify your reading from the hip-hop tarot okay spirit what messages do we have and that's what it's like loving you that's beautiful 
Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's get a card from the Hip Hop Tarot to see what Cancer's overall energy is for the month of October. What you got? Oh, and I knew. I mean, I didn't know, but I knew it was going to be a positive card. Because the reading was super duper positive and you are giving birth to new ideas. This is actually the card that represents fertility and giving birth. This is Libra Taurus energy. Um, these are new beginnings. This is the beginning of a beautiful time in your life. Make sure that you are present and enjoy this moment. Live your best life. Okay. And at this time, you also got the emperor at the bottom of the deck. That's Kendrick Lamar. This is Eve. And this is the Hip Hop Tarot deck that I am giving away. If you like or comment, well, actually do both. Like, subscribe to my pet channel, comment below, and I will enter your name. And then on October 31st, which is Halloween, I will make a cancer or whoever it is that wins, whoever has the most views, I will pick a viewer from their comments to win a free deck of tarot cards. So with the Emperor energy here, you are bossing up with organization and logic in your career, okay? Not in, not in your career alone, in life in general. You're bossing up. You know, you're sitting on your throne, your high horse, and you are allowed to. You deserve it. Okay? And now, Cancer, at this time, I ask that if you came to the reading with a question in mind, that you hold it in your thoughts. And we will ask the spirit guides to clarify your answer with a yes or no card. If the card is positive, is it, it's a yes. If it's negative, it's a no. And if it's like, mm, I don't know, I'm going to suggest that you come back to this reading with your question in mind. Um, I'm sorry, not with this reading, but I'm going to ask you to bring your question to our next reading. Okay, Cancer. Thank you, Spirit. You can also follow me on Instagram and direct message me if you are interested in a private reading. I'm having a special today, October 14th it's Columbus Day whatever day who is Columbus ain't a damn Columbus but um we are running a special today all day we me and my spare guys are running a special all day today that will allow you to pay only ten dollars for your reading hopefully you get this message in time if not just follow me anyway and check me out and see whenever I do another special or just purchase your free reading I'm sorry your uh private reading it ain't free Name free. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. What messages do we have? Okay, that came right out. This is control. This is strength. This is fire sign energy. This is beautiful energy, especially if you are a woman and you are a single, or if you're just a woman fighting any battles. This control card is a beautiful card to have. You are practicing self control. You are strong enough to handle anything that comes your way. Okay, and I'm definitely going to say that that's a yes. At the bottom of the deck, I see this card. This is a card of deception. This is a card that someone around you may have been being deceptive, but now you're opening up that wound and you're going to walk through it. You're going to get past it. If someone has betrayed you or if people have been betraying you or if you've been sensing some sneaky or deceptive, deceptive behavior, yes, you. it's true. Like they, they, Someone's being sneaky and deceptive whenever you see this card. Okay, it says seek the truth. Seek the truth about why you allow that to happen to yourself. Okay, and I'm going to read the control card to you. Uh, is it a hot girl summer cancer? Is that what y'all into? Is that the energy spirit wanted y'all to have? And, it, and it's giving me goosebumps. So y'all wilding now. Okay, it's a hot girl fall. Okay, because the summer's over. But you know what I mean. You might be leaving traveling to go have another hot girl summer. Who knows? Okay, control. This is master, influence, accept, compassion. What, 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 patience. How many times have we hear that in this reading? And confidence. In order to flourish, relationships must be fluid and free rather than overly rigid and controlled by emotional neediness or insecurity. It's important to master your emotions so that they do not rule the relationship. A partnership based solely on emotion is out of balance and out of control. Self-control is key here. Act from a combination of emotion and intellect, and your relationships will thrive and grow. Be sure that your influence is gentle and loving. This is not the time for domination. 
This card asks you to accept another person's uniqueness and not to require that person to conform to a mold of your choosing just to make you feel more comfortable. This card also serves as a reminder to come from compassion and understanding rather than anger or frustration. Now is the time for patience, steadiness, and clear thinking. Apply all of these qualities to your relationships with others and with yourself. If you're involved with a difficult person or situation, try to look through the other person's eyes and experience what his or her heart and soul feels. Try to see the situation from another perspective. With self-control comes confidence. Allow a situation to unfold. Detach yourself from the outcome. Don't try to control it. The end result of self-control and confidence is supreme peace. Take some time to examine how control in its many aspects is affecting your relationships. I control my emotions and embrace my peace. All right, Cancer, I hope this message resonated with you. I enjoy reading this beautiful energy for you. Comment, subscribe, like this post, and um, get a free chance to win. Get a chance to win a free tarot deck. All right. Again, I hope this resonated with you and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for stopping by the trap house.